Welcome to the channel, folks. We're here at Newtonator's Community Centre. Here with Newt himself to give us a look around on Blue Dragon, and uh, let's do a bit of a tour of this joint. Newt, how you going, mate? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, I can give you the uh, the tour a bit and what the idea was behind it, and why I built it, and all sorts of things. And we can start whenever you're ready. Alrighty, yeah, let's have a look around, mate. Let's do this. All right, well, um, we can start with uh, the very first concept, uh, which was the garden. Uh, I wanted people to be able to come here and grab whatever seeds that they needed. Uh, you can see that there are a couple boxes on the ground with not only gardening supplies, but also seeds and also produce, uh, as well as the garden itself, which luckily in Scum, even with uh, you being in a flag area, you can loot and even train your farming on nice no that's a nice setup there yeah we have all, all the basic foods um i've heavily uh pushed it towards stuff that people can use in cooking uh which kind of takes us to the new area that's just behind it the cooking area So this is the cooking area. It's still under construction to a point. There's a few more things that we need to grab. People have access to the generators over on this side. They also have access to the propane on this side, as well as the pots and pans. And they can turn on and turn off whatever they need, as well as fireplaces if we are out of or out of propane uh, the refrigerators and the cookbox have all the ingredients this is a very popular area yeah I'll bet it is I'm surprised there's it's not full of people right now to be honest yeah yeah you got lucky it gets rotated through quite a lot it's a pretty well set up area just I could see myself getting pretty cozy here to be honest yeah, absolutely, and that was the entire point for context, I guess, for your viewers. I wanted to create this entire base in this area because I have a child on the way, and I can't do all of the really difficult stuff in some, like the, the bunkers. The bunkers and the, yeah, the hardcore stuff, yeah. Exactly, whereas looting hot plates and pans and pots chopping firewood is really easy to do if, if I've got a baby and a wife because I, I can kind of swap between and that that's the entire point yeah cool yeah it's it's expanded so from the cooking area hopefully you checked out some of the uh stuff in those boxes yeah but I decided to make a sick bay oh nice sick bay oh wicked yeah, so one real big problem in Scum that people can come across, they can be in the middle of nowhere, maybe they've lost their car, and they've got hit by a few puppets, and they get infections. So where can you go that is always ready for infections? Well, you come to New Nader's sick bay. So in the cupboard, you'll see, hopefully there's some antibiotics left, but they go like hotcakes, but garlic. You can use garlic to... Yeah, well, you got garlic, you got alcohol in there to clean the wounds. Exactly. So anybody can come around and they can rearm their bandages and they can grab the garlic to heal their infections. Yeah, wicked. Keep it well stocked. Well, that moves us on to the next area, I suppose. This is the fun area around the bonfire. You see I created the chairs and the benches around the bonfire, but the really interesting kind of pivot is this box that you can see here called the Good Times box. Oh, yeah, Good Times. <laughs> yeah. I can uh, see the Good Times starting with some of this stuff. Exactly. So when people come around, we've got the uh, the cannabis, uh, the tobacco, and 
some of the uh, psilocybin mushrooms. Yep. Uh, so you, you can trip and uh, listen to some music and just have a good time. That does sound like a whole lot of fun. Yeah, this was actually a request by one of the people that were using the other facilities before I had built everything out. So I did it literally for like one dude. And times all the time. So. Oh, why not? I built it. Yeah. Got to enjoy yourself. Um. Yeah. Nah. It. It. It's been pretty fun. There. As far as I can tell, there are about eleven people that use this area. Uh, and they all have good times. Great, great spot for it too. Nice open, nice sort of country setting. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. It's it's also strategically placed because as a player that would constantly die or uh, lose his items thanks to his bad computer, uh, I wanted this to be a hub. To the north, you've got the castle, where you can rearm on sporran bags, which I see you're wearing. Yeah. Swords and bows. And also to the south is the factory. So if you wanted to take a bit of a risk, you can get some really good loot there. It was strategically placed to be easily able to find. If you open your map, you can see it's on the white triangle of the white road. Which is really easy to explain to people, and that was kind of the point of it as well. Yeah. Yeah, very easy. One thing that we're lacking a lot in this area, though, adverse to that, is, is water. So I've clearly <laughs> labelled it and built a well. Also, though, if you are to go to the southeast, there is a... what would you call it like a game well so there is actually easy access to water if you've just got a slight amount you're able to fill up your drink yep even though there's no river yeah oh look rivers make it easy there's there's a river up near the castle so you know if people are on their way up there to top up on arrows and bows and swords and stuff they can grab some of that but no good to have a well here as well yeah, exactly. The whole point of this space is that you're either able to grab everything that you need from here to restart really quickly, because we know that dying in scum sucks, and you've got to restart from the beginning, but I think it's strategically placed enough that whether you want guns, you go south, or if you want swords and bows, you go north. Yeah. From this place, yeah. Yeah. No, that sounds really good to me. Yeah, I, uh, I could definitely see myself making uh, either this or Jeff's place home. I, uh, yeah. Now, this is something really special. Zero percent of this box was donated by me. A hundred percent of this box has been donated by the community. Have a look what's inside. Oh, that's nicely stocked, isn't it? Mm. Check that out, folks. That's a very well stocked community donation box. Yeah, everything that you could possibly need. Um, it rotates a lot. You'll see as you scroll down, you'll see a lot of gaps. And those are items that people have taken. Mm. Uh, so it gets restocked and then taken from often. This is the main box of the space. Jeez, there's a bit of everything in there, isn't there? So over to your right... I've set up a little workshop here. The workshop has not only items for you to build your own workshop, but also items for you to craft ammo from my area. I restock this often. Any rare items such as the drills or the rebar cutters, which are the main ones for the workshop that are hard to find, I make sure that I plop into here. And it also has a lot of items for you if you wanted to build a base. And that's the whole point of this area is make ammo or build your own base. Mm. This area to the right of that is an area that I am currently working on. 
it is a car donation area. Now, if you're like me before today, which I've got a new computer, I used to lose cars under the map all the time. And we all know how horrid it is trying to go find a car with a lock. Oh, yes. I absolutely know that problem. I, uh, my long-time viewers will, who will watch my streams, I, uh, I don't know that I've lost many on stream, but I've definitely lost quite a few, especially Rages. Yeah, your car just, it, it just uh, floats under the map and then you appear on top of the map, but your car is gone. Yep, that's the one. I wanted this area to be somewhere where somebody can come and just grab a vehicle, uh, whether it be a car or a motorcycle. Um, this car is obviously not fully built, but it's a damn good start, and it would allow you to get your get you to your base, uh, mm. and it would also allow you to lock it. And if you notice in the boxes, I'm starting to accumulate some parts. Got a couple batteries in there a few vehicle parts that this is all that i've found that hasn't been looted by other people and uh also on the left the repairs box gives you gasoline stuff to paint your car car jacks and repair kits nice and that's basically the base so far um that is so. very nice and look at that. Perfect spot here, too. Yeah. There is also around this area, there are animals, boars, goats. Directly south, you can find melee weapons. Not south, sorry, southeast. In the town, if you were to do a 180, you can find supplies in that town. Nice yep. and close, in including water. There's also a kitchen in that town that has a refrigerator and an oven. Oh yeah, for cooking some of the uh, yeah some of the stuff you can't cook in the um, stuff you can put in your base. Exactly. So one thing that I've done, if we go back to the cooking area, I think it's pizzas you cook in an oven, if I remember right. Yeah, exactly. So one thing you'll notice is this sign: "Return cookbox to the box." Mm. Uh, I've I've started storing cookbooks in there. And so basically what people are doing is they're taking one of these generators down here, they're taking it to that kind of homestead area, yep. they're taking a cookbook, they're cooking what they need, and then they return it. The community has been just fantastic for returning stuff or donating stuff. Yeah, nice. Very nice. No, I would encourage anyone to come and have a look at this, check it out, use the resources and uh, return anything you're not using and add a bit more to it. It's the way you do it, isn't it? Leave things better than what you found it. Yeah, and the community has been really good for that, actually. Uh, I haven't had anything stolen yet. Nice. It, everything's unlocked, so somebody could literally just find a box that they like and pick it up and take it and put it in their car. But people have not been doing that, which is just great. It makes life easy because I made preparations for people to do that. I can actually let you in my private area if you'd like to have a look. Oh, if you're up for it. Oh, heck yeah. Give people a uh, bit of a behind-the-scenes view. Yeah, exactly. So I run everything very minimalistic. Uh, I donate almost everything that I find to the community. You'll see my gun rack only has a couple of weapons, uh, including the one that I'm wielding. Yep. This area will remain locked, but I can unlock everything else just for you. Uh, have a look. Literally how I run it. Yeah, unlock it. So I've got my own little workshop because I don't know what people will do to it. But yeah, you can have a look in all, all the boxes. I run it very minimalistic. I donate almost everything that I find. Yeah, nice. You haven't stored a whole lot of gear here, have you? I tend to be, um, I know I tend to be a bit of a hoarder for no good reason other than just in, ca just in case I might need it. Yeah, 
and uh, yeah, it's it's refreshing to see someone who's not doing that. To be honest, yeah, you'll you'll see if you go to my main box, you'll see I've got ammo for my weapons. I've got a lot of screwdrivers, uh, and that just allows me to hit police runs. If you scroll right down to the bottom of the main box, you'll see that I have a lot of gear just to help me if I were to die. Yeah, just so you can get up and going and get this place restocked again quickly. Yeah, ex exactly. Uh, and, and you know, the, the ammo situation, how I've got going in there is, for me, um, it's just kind of a, 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 I guess, a personal thing where uh, I collect the ammo that I might use or weapons that I find frequently and I want to train my own character's stats. But you'll see... Almost everything I I literally just donate. So yeah, why not? I'll set the lock back on if you're ready. Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Awesome. Thanks for the tour, mate. Really appreciate it. And folks, make sure you come and check out the community center here. Yeah, nice to meet you all, team. Hopefully I see you around. I've seen quite a few of you around already. I really enjoy when you guys come up that pathway and you just come say hello. That's what it's all about. I, I'm going to be offline a lot when my child does arrive into the world. But at least this area is going to be well stopped. And the community have been amazing. People donate every day. People take things every day. I look at what's been taken, and I try to replace what's been taken. Hmm. No, look, you've done a really good thing here. This is awesome. And, uh, yeah, look forward to you having taken the next step in your life journey, mate. Having a kid is a huge thing. I've got a couple of kids of my own. Best thing you can do having kids. Becoming a father is just fantastic. So, no, congratulations, and yeah, all the best for you and you and the little one and, and the other half. Awesome, nah. And, um, yeah, no, I'll, I reckon you'll probably see me around here a bit more, now that I know where it is and what it's about. So this is fantastic. Yes. Somebody donated a flamer the other day. I don't know who grabbed it, but that guy, whoever it was, or guy or girl, whoever it was, Lemon legend. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, ladles and jelly spoons and everyone else, thank you for watching. It's uh, Blue Dragon here, and you're at the uh, Newtonators community area. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you give us a like if you liked what you see today, and hit me up with a subscribe on the channel if you want to see more of my stuff. All right, folks, I will see you later. Blue Dragon out. See ya.